for the Calder Cup over here. Firebirds face off tonight for game two against the Hershey Bears. We have News Channel 3 sports anchor Bailey Ordondo alongside our favorite Firebirds fan and meteorologist Kelly Moody both <laughs> joining us live from Akersha Arena. Hey there guys, it looks, things are getting super exciting over there right now. You got a bunch of people. Marion, this is the spot to be on Saturday night. I had to convince Kelly to work and not be at oh. this game because she's usually <laughs> inside banging on the glass, the biggest Firebirds fan. This is true. I mean, I have a lot of fun when I'm here. Really, we talk about the fan experience and I'm just one of the fans. Tonight, we're going to give you a little bit of your weather as well, of course, but I just really wanted to be able to be here rather than in the studio and be able to join in on a lot of the action. We rally the valley, but very more, very most important too, Firebirds forecast. Well, you got to have your Firebirds forecast. And there are a couple key elements that you are going to want to know about because we do actually have a first alert weather alert in place. So let's go ahead and dive right into that. We'll start with that first alert weather alert, which is for those strong winds. They are going to be in place all day for your Sunday. So we're already starting to feel, and I'm sure you can see by our hair, that there is some of that wind. We're going to take a look at those current wind speeds right now. Those are really starting to move on in. Right now we've got sustained wind speeds upwards of 30 miles per hour in the Th Thousand Palms area. And uh, yeah, like I said, we're feeling it here. And you can see those winds already starting to stretch on down toward the east end of the 10 freeway. Here's the thing. These winds won't be all too different from what you will experience looking ahead toward tomorrow, but they will be more prolonged. So while these winds will ramp up throughout the day, they just won't slow down. We'll continue to see them strengthen as we head into the overnight hours. Stay with us into tomorrow. I do want to make note also, a little sticky out there today. All right, we do have slightly elevated dew points in the upper 40s, low 50s because of that low pressure moving through. Obviously, some additional cloud cover overhead. But fans are loving it. During tonight's game, puck drop at 7, 78 degrees. will cool off to the upper. 60s by the time things get a little bit later in the evening and of course we're going to continue to stay here and be covering all of the Firebirds fun. Bailey come on back in here. I know <laughs> you happen to be a fan of game shows and uh, there's some fun with that coming up a little bit later on. We've got some Firebird trivia. Well yeah we're going to test the fans knowledge how everyone's been diving in but Kelly I, I just it's remarkable every time we come out here the bought in from the fans. We talked to Hershey Bears fans that met in Hershey now live in Phoenix oh. and said are you kidding me now our Bears are playing in Southern California. We cannot miss that. But to be clear, we are here for the birds. Well, yes, we do cover both sides, too. And, <laughs> hey, those Hershey bands, that's a story franchise, franchise, the most storied in all of the AHL. You know they're going to have passionate fan base. These Firebird fans, different. A little bit different. Fired up. Mary, we'll take it back to you in the studio. Thank you, Kelly and Bailey. Just a quick check-in with you. How is the atmosphere and everything going really quick? Well, the atmosphere, take a look. It's Please. outstanding. Fans trickling in. People were here all throughout the past hour, getting in line, getting their seat, and talked to a few Firebird fans that we wanted to get inside for some live shots, but they said, no way. We got to get there on the ice to see these guys warm up. They already have their routines, and this is going to be an outstanding game, too. We'll have more coming up in sports, here from the players and their mindset ahead of game two, Marion. Awesome. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Bailey. We'll check back in with you guys later. And you can catch tonight's game on the CW. Puck drop is set just after 7. And sports director Blake Arthur is headed to Hershey, Pennsylvania next week.